hey, so my first run of Darkest Dungeon 2 took about two and a half hours, and I forgot to break it up into individual episodes. So I'm doing that now in post. Uh, so welcome to the second episode. In this one, I try to figure out how to evaluate the choices that different characters want to make, uh, how items work, and I start to notice that my characters are a little bit snippy with each other. Let's, let's see what I do. Let's take the green path, though I'm not sure what makes it different. So now we're headed towards an assistance encounter. I'll have to watch for uh, round limits next time we fight. More desperate few. Assist us. Okay, so depending on who does this interaction, we lose different things and gain different things. So we gain a ton by giving them some relics. Or we give up more of our light for less stuff. That has a ring in it, and this one doesn't. I don't understand the iconography well enough. And unfortunately, like if I highlight him, I can't highlight down here. Okay, this, okay, hold alt to interpret it. So food loot, mixed loot, coach equipment, flame. We lose flame for this one with food loot trick and chance. Okay, I'm gonna go with Dismas. The Wainwright awaits, eager to ply his trade. So they're respectful towards each other. These two, so did these two have a reaction to what he chose and that affects their relationship, I guess? Milk soaked linen? What? Okay, whatever. All right. So now we need to decide if we want to go to a combating or oh, resistance encounter or something Onward, else. While there is still time. I want to have another fight. I want to understand what happened in the last fight. Joining up paths and then plague eaters. There we go. Feeding on the tainted crop. Feeding on taint. Awesome. Okay, so if I choose this, we avoid we we lose relics, but we avoid combat. If we choose this, we lose relics and avoid combat. If we choose what he says. We gain strength and speed and do combat. And Barristan couldn't care less. I want combat, so let's have Paracelsus lead us. Okay, okay, so at each stage, we decide who... Each person offers a random option, and you choose what person you're going to go with. And that determines what you get. I like that. Okay, so we got two goats and the butcher... His health isn't that much higher than the goat's. How's their blight resistance? Pretty high. Let's see if we can overcome it with this guy. Dang it. Nope, we can't. All right. Let's take aim. And let's bolster. Oh, wait. Attacks, acts faster next round. Next attack deals damage. Is that what bolster does? Wait, no. Oh, no, this is just... Oh, this is just the benefit of when we selected this guy. Right, okay, cool. So that has nothing to do with this. I was holding alt to see if it would give me more explanations about what this, uh, this does. Because it says, you know, oh, here we go. Block. Okay, so everybody's going to take half damage from their next hit if I do this. Let's do that. 
So he's gonna bolster everybody. Or did he just bolster himself? He might have just bolstered himself. Right. There wasn't everybody linked, it was just him. All right, well, let's... Maybe we can blind this guy? Okay, good. Just eat his goats. Okay. So far, it doesn't seem like I've damaged anyone. Um, let's go. It says up here, by the way, that we're on round two. I don't know how many rounds there are supposed to be. We are now respectful. What, what does that do exactly? I'm not sure. Um, okay, so we could probably take this goat out now that he's all ready to go. So let's do that. Let's do a wicked slice. Death blow the goat. Processing development. And. I guess we'll try this. Oh, it actually got blighted. Its resistance is pretty high, but apparently it is still blightable. All right, so I could smack the livestock or the butcher. I guess we'll just we'll focus on getting rid of the food first. We are respectful to each other. And the goat is dead because it was blighted. <laughs> moving Dismas around like crazy. All right, Audrey, how can you hit that back rank? The thrown dagger. I love the art style of this, by the way. I don't know what is causing these characters to increase their relationships with particular other characters. We're on round three right now. Try blinding gas again. Okay, good. Less likely to hit. No. Nope. <laughs> Didn't make the difference I was hoping for. Pick, pick to the face no longer works. But she can still throw a dagger. And now Dismas is ready. Oh, this only hits the front ranks. Oh. So I can do pistol shot. Pistol shot's probably my best bet. Guaranteed crit, not as good as the other move. Oh. So now, oh, this one can... Okay, so when he's closer to the front, he can do this incision move, which causes bleeding, uh, but only to the front two ranks. Oh, well, yeah. Let's try to make this corpse go away, I guess. Um, actually, even better... Can I knock the corpse back? There we go. Now that guy's within reach. <laughs> Pulling this dude closer. Goes, oh, now the corpses all go away. Run round five. I guess... I mean, poison darts are option if I don't want to spend a turn moving. Good. Hey, the blight worked. And now she and the doctor have a relationship. Why? Death blow. Impressed. The means of mastery. Got spoons. We got a smoke bomb. Combat item. You know what? It occurs to me I haven't figured out how to use combat items. I haven't even looked to see where those might live. The loathing abates. Okay, so we did actually have to defeat that enemy. Audrey and Barristan aren't feeling that great. I feel like I'm not, like, the coachman is drunk. Like, I can't, I can't quite make this thing look like it's being driven well. Here's another fight. I chose this intentionally. 
to arms, though it brings no satisfaction. More plague eaters. So we could escape. We could escape. We could attack. Or we could attack with plus what? With a debuff. Oh, they get a debuff. Well, let's do that. Paracelsus is in charge. The goat kid? Oh, no, it scrambled their order because we surprised them. That's right. Okay. I think the pick to the face is probably my best move against this guy. Let's take aim. I'm embarrassed in here. Yeah, let's bolster everybody. Okay, so I think... I think I misunderstood the bolster ability. I think that it has this defending attack uh, effect on him, and it has some kind of debuff recovery effect on the rest of them. But he's not actually defending everyone the way I originally interpreted it. Okay, so... Well, this guy's blight defense isn't that bad, actually. Let's... Let's blight him. Ow! Stop carving me! I'm all bleedy now. Oh gosh, why is everyone hitting Dismas? Cut that crap out! She can only heal herself. Right? Yeah, she can only heal herself. Well... So this is a higher crit chance, but mm, yeah. Oh, she has earned Barristan's respect. True teamwork. I don't. I don't think I have a healer. Do I? Oh, wait. Oh wait. No. Battlefield medicine, but only against on the back rank. But that's fine. And the bleeding goes away. Okay. Also. Whoa. What? Did she just heal him randomly because they have a relationship? Is that is that what that was? All right, let's crush this guy. And death blow from the blight. Nice. Sick and sweet. Okay, but he was his bolster helped defend himself. Oh, this was his back where he belongs. Um so we could take down most of this goat. A miscalculation, what? Perhaps. I just... Ugh. Very frustrating. Okay, kick to the face. Let's take this goat out as fast as we can. I'm frustrated at the goat. I'm just attacking it without bothering to aim. Oh, of course, the goat resists blight. I knew that. Maybe, yes, okay, dead goat. Oh, she she resented him for that? Why? Is this stuff predictable? Feels like the, the, the relationship stuff feels like it's just kind of happening on its own and I don't understand it. It's just like, I just keep playing and it's just sort of a thing that happens. I don't feel like I'm able to strategize about it. Cloudcraft is saying that the uh, the idle animations are making him uncomfortable. <laughs> this one thing, like sometimes, if if you want to really annoy an animator, uh, <laughs> like tr like act out the way that a video game character behaves and have it look like this, <laughs> because eventually, because it always characters are always just kind of dancing <laughs> a little bit in video games. Um, all right, so. Yeah, this guy is very blight resistant. Let's not try to poison him. Let's just hit him in the face. What is this? Corpulent enables a powerful skill. Okay, so... The, hmm, okay, interesting. Okay, I am going to take aim again. And I don't think 
I need to do blinding gas. That might work. Yes, okay, good. He's gonna use some terrible skill. I'd like him to miss. Hey, Dismas probably could not have taken whatever that was. Okay, so this is the thing he can use to defend someone else. So he's gonna defend Dismas. What? Why are you so jealous? Ugh. Okay. So... He should get a crit now. We're in round five, though, and last time... Last time we had some trouble. Where the combat just ended and I wasn't sure why. So... I can't use the blinding attack again. can raise everyone's resistance, though. In case that ends up being valuable. Okay, so he... He just defended his friend. Cancelled some of the damage. Okay, cool. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Let's do that again. Just because Dismas is particularly... Oh, she's... She's, like, resenting the crap out of him now. She only wants his attention. Wow. That's kind of creepy. Okay, so he's weakened. So I guess there's no point in trying to take aim and do some kind of special attack. So these two, their relationship is growing now. But why? Okay, he's blinding this guy. lined up now. We can probably take him out this turn. If we all hit him. Uh, uh, the only thing I can really do is hit him with a thing that won't... He'll, he resists the secondary effect anyway. Death blow! Yes! And it's dead. Oh, it's jaw, like... What? Regurgitate? What? Is it still... It's still here. Hey. St stop it. There we go. Okay, I thought that was a death blow, but I guess not. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. All right. Uh, yes, Cloudcraft, I have been reading the resistances. I sometimes forget one. Uh, or I'll, like you know, switch them in my head and forget who's got a resistance An to what, problem. and I'll make the wrong call, but... Is it not? A cultist encounter. We this looks like it's going to be maddening. Moving. Reduces loathing. Let's see what happens, what reducing loathing means. Thirty-three leagues to the end. I'm just gonna be. Oh, this is gonna be so long. <laughs> Oblivion's ingress. Cultists. No. So we can run away. We can fight. Or we can run away and lose stuff. But I want to fight. I realize maybe I should be avoiding some of these encounters, but I'm trying to learn how this works. So, fighting is what I should do. As a general rule. Okay, so they're very dodgy right now. But let's hit as many of them as we can. So we can clear that dodge effect. Okay, so there is such a thing as combat items. Dismas should probably heal. The question is... How? I don't see anything on the screen that would give me the ability to use an item. 
So I've got all these combat items, but I can't... I, I don't see a means of using them. I wonder if I look at the tutorial... Ooh, time limits. Oh, most robot battles have a round limit. Okay, so this is the thing that caused that other... That other combat to end early. Affinity system. Each hero pair has an affinity value which describes, which describes how positive or negative they feel towards each other. If it fills, they'll enter a relationship. Okay. But what I want to know is... Items. Items. In items. Monster death blows. Ooh, some monsters have death blow resistance. Okay, so maybe that has something to do with why that one character was missing his death blow. On a hero's turn, you will first use a combat item if they have one equipped. Okay, I have to equip combat. They're not just sitting in a pool where I can use them. I have to manually equip them. So that's something I'm going to have to do probably between combats. Okay, well, then I won't worry about it now. Um, do I have anything that will hit multiple characters? Probably not. Um, I'm going to take aim, though. Oh, these guys are going to be it. Oh, blinding people on the back. And now he's weak. So he's taking aim, but now he's weak. That's super lame. Okay. Um, I can raise everyone's resistances to stuff. But... Okay, at least we've cleared that dodge effect. Nocturne Commune. Added what? Dodginess. The slow suffering begins. Alright. Um. Could just crush somebody, or. Actually, let's knock them out of their usual. Oh, no, it resist, they resist movement. Dang. Okay. Well. We could poison dart. Heal ourselves, that doesn't help. Throw a dagger. So the thing is, I'm not actually sure which of these characters is the most dangerous. A breakthrough. Feels like if we take this one out and it can move these guys up, it might change their abilities, maybe remove some of their better abilities. So yeah, so now I've taken aim, so my next skill will have 100% crit, except that my next attack is gonna do half damage. That's super lame. Well, guess I gotta live with it. A breakthrough. Seven instead of nine. Could have been worse. Oh, he's getting horrified. It added what? Oh, it's gonna have a hundred percent crit next time. Let's um, not let that happen. How do these guys get... Oh, these guys are nothing against Blight. Okay, let's Blight the heck out of this. Oh, he dodged. She dodged? I don't know. Can't tell. Um, death's door. I love that they have the same death resistance that my characters have. There you go. Now that's teamwork. Okay, they're fixing their relationship now. But why? Why? your confession. Okay, they're just being horrified. Oh, he's still weak. Or was he just weak again? Yes. I respect you. Why? Okay, um... Nocturne Commune. Commune? Nocturne Commune, probably. Okay, we're not bleeding anymore. That's nice. Uh, I wish I could... Yeah, so she did just resist movement. I haven't been paying attention to that. 
Yeah, she has 40 move resistance. Yeah, I should not even be trying that. Um, so, I mean, pick to the face for this guy again. Poison dart. Oh, yeah, yeah, their, their blight resistance is really low. Get blighted. Oh, I got blinded. Everyone's blinded. Blindness for you, blindness for you. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> no, that's not the guy that needs help. Okay. This guy needs to back up so that I can use battlefield medicine on him. Miss! Oh, because he's blinded, right? Alright. Well, I'm definitely going to defend this guy, just in case. Look, you just need to chill out, okay? Aha! I resist your enfeeblings. Oh, he's about to go mad, though. And I'm dying. Okay, do I have anything that... I've got things that move me forward, but nothing that moves me back. So I think I might just need to move back manually so that we can use Battlefield Medicine. And now they're going to crit like crazy next turn. I wonder if I can concentrate fire on this character and make that not happen. We are so scared. She's blinded, so it's probably not going to go well. Oh no! Hey, she hit. Nice work. Corpse fades away. Everyone contracts, and let's do another pick to the face. Death's door. Okay, good. Let's make that crit not happen. Um, yeah, let's just let's just do this. Death blow. A righteous action. Stealing my glory. What? What is with the jealousy? You don't want me to do cool things? Steady yourself. A crit for two. Oh, he's having a meltdown. No. Everyone's relationships are. Oh, now they're resentful. The slowest and deadliest what does that poison do? of them all. Lighted. He's wow. His health is suddenly way low. Look, okay, I think that one's out. One less obstacle in our path. Oh my gosh, you two! Quit bickering like children. And now she has a meltdown. And it drops her health way low too? Why why does your health go down? That's not cool. I don't want madness to make your health go down. Lethality writ large. Uh, wait, she can heal herself. I forgot about that. Crap. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I thought he could only heal people in the back row. No, he can only heal from the back row. Ugh. She can heal herself. I'm just gonna hope she doesn't get attacked before she has the chance. Timed. Crap. She's not gonna have a chance. Um... I don't know if distance moving forward defends her at all. Okay, good. Yeah, she's in the most trouble. Even though she can heal herself. Death blow. Alright, there we go. Man, we're still so far from being able to camp.
still 30 leagues from the end. I wonder if I can use any of this. Let's... Okay, so can we equip combat items? How? This is where trinkets go. Um, combat skills. Equip combat item. There we go. All right. So I could give everyone a healing salve. Actually, the people who need it most are probably Aubrey. Well, she now she's got a thing that lets her heal herself already. Dismas is going to need it, though. Dismas needs some healing salve. Oh, wait. He has to get all the healing salve? But do we have anything else that is the same? Laudanum. It cures stress. Actually, Paracelsus probably needs the loud more than anyone else right now, anyway. Barrison's already had his meltdown. Um, blinds the enemy. Burn salve. Smoke bomb. Holy water, milk soaked linen. It cures blindness. Oh, you're using. Right! Pouring milk on your eyes to avoid tear gas. Right, that makes sense. Um, so what if I, like, can I, like, shift drag? Or how do I? Okay, I guess I've equipped this now. Like, I don't know how to unequip it. Is there? I'm not seeing a way to unequip it. Like, I didn't necessarily want to give him all the salve. I just didn't see a way, another way about it. So I guess, I don't know. Give her this? Um. I guess, yeah, each person just gets one particular thing. Uh, I'm a little confused. Let's try that. Removes negative tokens. Hmm. Okay, let's cut it there. Uh, it looks like I finally figured out how to equip combat items, and I'm going to need them because uh, the next episode gets pretty dark. Uh, if you want to see that episode, you can subscribe to my channel. You can click that button. There's all kinds of things that you can do. Um, yeah, I'm going to go record the next intro. <laughs>